All right here, today I'm going to review and go over the NFL's current playoff picture. I'm going to start off with the AFC, and then I'm going to go to the NFC. But let's get started. Brian Price, and you're watching William Blackwell on YouTube. All right here, starting off at number one for the AFC, it is going to be the Pittsburgh Steelers, who are 10-0. At number two, it is the Kansas City Chiefs at 9-1. They have lost one time to the Las Vegas Raiders a couple weeks ago. At number three, it is the Buffalo Bills at 7-3. At number four is your current AFC South leader, uh, the Indianapolis Colts at 7-3. At number five, it is your first wildcard team, and it is the Tennessee Titans at 7-3. At number six is the second wildcard team, and it is the Cleveland Browns at 7-3. At number seven, your last playoff spot, it is the Las Vegas Raiders at 6-4. So, those are teams that are currently in. Here are some teams that are currently out of the playoff bracket. At, at number eight, the Baltimore Ravens at 6-4. That's a big surprise, I guess you can say. A lot of people expected Lamar Jackson to put up some big numbers like he did last year. But he really isn't putting up any good numbers. And his receivers are having hit and miss games. They're not doing too well. So Baltimore's got some work to do, but their season is not over with by any means. They can still win the North, but they need tons of help. And it starts off this weekend on Thanksgiving night playing Pittsburgh, which they're in a must-win situation if they're wanting to win the North. If they lose it, they can still make the playoffs. But if they're wanting to win the North, they're going to have to beat Pittsburgh on Thanksgiving night. So there you go. Baltimore at 8 at 6-4. At number 9, it is the Miami Dolphins at 6-4. And, and at number 10, this is a long shot here, it is the 4-6 and six Denver Broncos. But if you put all of that into the current playoff format, here are the games. At number two, the Kansas City Chiefs taking on the number seven, Las Vegas Raiders. Las Vegas averages 26 points on the road, and Kansas City averages 32 points at home, so Kansas City would be the favorite. Next, you got the number three, Buffalo Bills, taking on the number six, Cleveland Browns. The Browns average 25 points on the road, while Buffalo averages 32 points at home. So Buffalo is the clear favorite. Next, you got the number four Indianapolis Colts taking on the number five Tennessee Titans. Tennessee averages 24 points on the road, while Indianapolis averages 28. So Indianapolis will win. And I find this really interesting. All of the home teams and all the favorite teams, top four seeds, are expected to win in the first round, so there you go. Now we're gonna go to the NFC. Starting off at number one for the NFC, it is going to be the New Orleans Saints at eight and two. At number two, it is going to be the Los Angeles Rams at seven and three. At number three, it is going to be the Green Bay Packers at seven and three. And at number four, you ready to hear this one? It is the Philadelphia Eagles at three, six, and one. Yes. Three, six, and one. A NFL uh, division leader has three wins. That's crazy. Uh, but fifth place is going to be the Seattle Seahawks at seven and three. And at number six is the Tampa Bay Buccaneers at seven and four. And at number seven, your last wild card spot, it is the Arizona Cardinals at six and four. And the three current teams that are just outside are the Chicago Bears at five and five. At number nine, the Minnesota Vikings at four and six. And at number 10, the Detroit Lions at four and six. Uh, but you can also add Dallas to the equation, Washington and New York Giants, because they're still in contention for the East. There's no way they're going to make the playoffs without winning the East. So winning the East is big. But I'm going to do what I did at the AFC just a couple moments ago, put this all in the playoff format. So the number one seed, New Orleans, will have a bye. So the number two seed will play the number seven seed, and that's the Rams and the Cardinals. The Cardinals averages around 27 points on the road, while the Rams average 21 points at home. So the Cardinals are should win on the road, or expected to at least. 
Next, you get the Green Bay Packers at the number three seed, taking on the number six seed, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Tampa averages 31 points on the road, while Green Bay averages 30 points at home. So Green Bay is expected to lose this one by one. Next, you got the number four Philadelphia Eagles at three, six, and one, playing the number five Seattle Seahawks, seven and three. Uh, Seattle averages 31 points on the road, while Philly only averages 23 points at home. So Philly will lose. So this is pretty much the opposite of the AFC. In the AFC, two, three, and four seeds are winning, while in the NFC, seven, six, and five are winning against the top three seeds. So there's a lot of things going on in both sides in the NFL, ASC, and NFC. Just stay tuned and comment down below what you think is going to happen. It's going to get crazy. Peace.